Welcome back to Hey What's That? I'm your host Barry and today we're here on the sales lot taking a look at something that's commonly misunderstood and misused a lot of times. It's the breakaway cable. It's this little black box that sits on the frame, is found on fifth wheels and travel trailers, and it has a little wire cable that runs from it to a plastic pin, and if we pull hard enough, you can see it pops right out. What that does is once that's out, it engages the trailer brakes. It makes use of the battery system that's on board and causes the brakes to lock up. So, why is that a good thing? Well, if you were to accidentally come loose from the ball and be riding on the chains, it's going to allow you to bring the vehicle to a controlled stop instead of it just slamming into the back of the tow vehicle. Or in the instance that it comes completely loose from the tow vehicle, it's going to allow the trailer to come to a controlled stop. So, why do we say it's commonly misunderstood, commonly misused? We see a few things happening that customers do. Uh, we'll see them thread the cable through the chains that hook back up. And that's bad because it's static in the system. And if something were to pop loose, well, this can't pull out and engage those brakes. So what's the right way? Well, it needs to be separate from the chains and it needs to be less taut than, or excuse me, more taut than the chain system, yet still loose enough to have not room to turn. So, if we take the end, thread it through the main hookup point, and then use a clip to connect it back. Now, some breakaway cables are long enough to take this clip and go all the way back to the source. Ours isn't in this case, so what we're gonna do is create a little loop, clip it to it, snug it down, and now what we can see is this is slightly more taut than the chains are. It's going to allow us to have room to turn. And if something were to happen and it comes loose, it's going to pop that out and engage the brakes. That's the breakaway cable. <laughs>